one of the spookiest places in America. If you've lived in Denver long enough, you may have heard about the legends of ghosts in Cheeseman Park. I thought maybe the little a little girl ran by. You heard that, right? Yeah. Lucy, was that you? I'm willing to come out and let us know that you're around? Oh my god. Uh. What's up guys, it's Sam McColby. Today we start the very first video in our Stanley Hotel series, which our friends have no idea about, so we're actually gonna go get them right now. All we said before this was for Jake and Corey to completely clear their schedules for tomorrow, but they don't even know that we're picking them up right now, so let's do it. Get in the car. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Where your Uber? This is kind of like my little personal Uber. We're getting the squad back together, man. Oh. Woo. Wait, so we're gonna go pick up Elton too? Yes. No. No. Oh. Come hither. Let's go. I thought you were my neighbor. I thought I was about to get evicted. I told you <laughs> you are. All right. So we gathered you all here today for one reason, one reason only. Listen, brother. We're back on YouTube, and we're going to the Stanley hey, Hotel. don't hit my star. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, 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 what did you just say? We're going to the Stanley Hotel. Where's that? Colorado. When? What? Tomorrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tomorrow? We're going tomorrow. We already bought you guys tickets. Plane tickets. Halfway across the United States. Do you know what the Stanley Hotel is? Yes, I know the Stanley Hotel. The one that was the shining is based off yeah, of? From the, yeah, where it's <laughs> Johnny! No way. Yes. Okay, so I love the shining. What? I'm so down. This is gonna be sick. Alright, are you as down as he is? No! <laughs> are you joking? Dude, this is known as one of the most haunted hotels in the entire world. And the most famous haunted place in the entire United States. Look it up anywhere. Top haunted in the Has world. Has anyone died there? I'll get into that. Yeah. We, well, we, all right, so I can't go, guys. There's so many hauntings that have given people nightmares that like they can never live down that Stephen King wrote an entire movie about it. I might be a psychopath, but I'm excited. I love that movie, one of my favorites. Stephen King, uh, love him. We brought you, uh, Corey. Yeah. Corey, yeah. Right, we're gonna have to go get him. He didn't drive here, we picked him up, remember? This is why we picked you up. So I couldn't drive home? Yes. <laughs> I just felt my keys and they weren't there. <laughs> so we actually brought you here tonight because we thought it'd be a good idea to not go in cold like we usually do. So instead of doing all the research there in Colorado, we want to take you guys here and tell you all the stories and hauntings and stuff before you oh, went. Oh, awesome. So we get to be super scared before we even fly there? Yes. yes. Oh, perfect, dude. Thank you, guys. Of I'm course. I'm so happy. The flight's at 7 in the morning tomorrow. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> no way. Are you serious? You said you were free, That's bro. in like nine hours. Exactly. I, I was free, yeah, for Wait, the... what time is it? 7 a.m. 7... You guys want me to wake up that early? Yeah, so that means we get LAX... No, bro, you gotta wake up at 5 a.m. Uh, no. So wake up at 4 a.m. Are you ready? All right, breakfast is on you guys. I'll buy IHOP. So before we actually leave California, let's figure out why this place is haunted. The Shining, which is a movie and a book by Stephen King, is why this is the most famous haunted hotel in the entire world. And basically there's a story behind that where in room 217, which is considered the most haunted room of the entire hotel, Stephen King once stayed there with his wife and had this horrible, horrible nightmare where his kid was running away from a fire hose that was chasing him down the hallways and then it eventually caught up to him and it strangled him like a snake. Woke up, he was all sweaty, he was like, whoa, that was the craziest nightmare he's ever had in his life. So he went out to his balcony and started smoking a cigarette. By the time he finished that cigarette, he knew that he was gonna make The Shining and came up with all the plot points of it. Wait, so he stayed there before he knew who's gonna make a movie about it? Yeah. yeah. What? And it was haunted. That's how haunted it is? Yes, yeah. I thought it was haunted like Loki because of the movie. No, 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 no. If you guys have ever seen that famous scene of a little kid riding his tricycle through like the hallways, the camera's following him, yeah. and then there's like those two girls that are just like dead in the hallway, that's The Shining, and that's based off the hotel we're going to. <sighs> Awesome. Red rum. Red rum. Red 
Uh, Burger backwards. You or get it. blue rum. Yeah, we're not discriminating here. Thank you, Sam. So yeah, this is the hotel. It literally looks like a castle. It's so nice. And it looks so inviting. Which this is, is going to creepy. be so scary. The most haunted places in the Stanley Hotel are obviously the room that Stephen King stayed at, room 217. So we'll definitely visit that. But then also, the entire fourth floor is known for all the other spirited rooms. That is where we are staying. It's hosted numeral paranormal investigators now us. It appeared in shows such as Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures. Wow, now we're just oh. copying them. Oh. And Shane Dawson. And Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson did this a long time ago. Yeah. So he went shout here? out to him. The only thing he does is <gasps> That's probably what we're going to be doing too. So. And that's the whole video. Okay. Everybody's going to hate Jake in the comments. Keep it in. So care. cut all this out or else Keemstar is coming for us. Wait, what? There's a place called the Vortex. It's a staircase between floors in the hotel's main guest room and it's a natural spiral of energy oh. for ghosts that are known to haunt the hotel. Yo, I read about this. Wow. They say there's a portal in the middle of the hotel and that must be it. There's a girl that was spotted at the Yo, top of the that? grand staircase. And it's like one of these pictures that like no one can figure out why it happened. No. Cause there's no girl there. Oh, USA wait. Today, what? it's on like crazy news all over the place. Did someone take that picture? Someone or? took that picture and on the security cameras, there's nothing. One of the very first stories of all the ghosts was this girl named Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson! Back to your story about people dying. There was actually a giant gas explosion. A ton of different rooms were destroyed, but the lady that was staying in the room that sparked the explosion survived. Mm -hmm. And because of that, people say that she's still there working there today. Elizabeth Wilson, yeah, right here. She's kinda hot. Like for an old lady. Yeah, yeah. But then the last story I want to mention really quick is about a girl named Lucy, who was a squatter, 13 to 16, run away, didn't have a home, basically orphan, and she hid in, what's it called? The concert hall? According to the hotel maintenance, men came to survey the basement before some major construction below the concert hall. They stumbled into Lucy and forced her to leave. That very night, temperatures dropped below zero, and she was later found dead, frozen by the elements. Jeez. So this is a video of a door closing while they're doing like a news story. So it's a live broadcasting to television, <coughs> and the door closes behind the plate that's talking. One more time, please. Lucy, thank you. Lucy, are you cold? That is what Lucy's known for most. She doesn't do any harm, but she'll close doors behind you when you walk into rooms. And then if you like have like lollipops or, or uh, like candy, so she's just this little girl, she can make them move or like fall off your hand. That's a little Dude, yeah. what if you're holding a lollipop and it's just chilling in your hand and all of a sudden you hear a <laughs> One, a two, a three. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh my god. I would literally throw down on Lucy if she did that to me. You're gonna throw down on a 13 year old girl? So with all that being said, we have the research. I think we're ready to go, but we decided to get one more precaution. What's that say? We hired a psychic and she's coming but we're here. But we're leaving in the morning. When would she? Tonight. In 15 minutes. In tonight. What? In 15 minutes. <laughs> this psychic might tell us whether or not we're gonna have a good experience or bad experience. Or she's gonna tell us if we're gonna die tomorrow. Wouldn't you wanna know if you wanna die tomorrow? Maybe no. we won't go if we're gonna die. Yeah. No, I, was... I know you guys. You still don't wanna go. <laughs> I'd, right. I'd still go. See if we're haunted. I know we're haunted, bro! Are you sure? I don't want more proof! <laughs> Let's ignore it! We will come back when the psychic gets here, but she should be here any minute, so we'll see you then. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> The psychic that we hired just arrived downstairs. We're gonna go get them and see what she has to think about our next adventure. We're both pretty highly skeptical of psychics, but we thought it'd be nice because if she could tell us something, maybe it'll be a good experience, maybe it'll be a bad experience, we don't know. At least we'll find out right now. And while we're enjoying this nice little elevator ride down to our lobby, Guess what? We got merch, boy! We released this last time when we left social media and we haven't been able to talk about it for a month. So yeah, go check it out, Gold Edition. This is Sam and Colby 2.0 merch. It's the highest stuff we've ever released. We got this crazy thing on the hoodie, but now the psychic's right outside. Hey, how's it going? I'm Sam. 
say I'm Nadia. Nice to meet Kobe. you. Kobe, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool. We got everyone upstairs. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. My name's Corey. Corey, I'm Nadia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're already like cuddled. I'm Jake. Hi, Jake. Nice to meet you. Jake, get out of the freaking blanket. We got some things to do. Have you guys ever been read by a psychic? A few times. Really? A few times. Yeah. What? It's not their first time. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Corey's a professional. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just go like this and then stuff happens. No way. It's pretty cool. How about you, Jake? No. Are you excited? Yes. All right, sounds good. You need anything to start, or should we just well, go ahead? I I would like different light, if different possible, light. because these lights already have so many colors to them. Okay. That it kind of confuses. So just like a plain white light or that something. That would be amazing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Could you kind of just sit on the other side of the couch? They're not too close, but not too far apart. If you can take your jacket off. Right? All right, we got the vibe going on right now. Basically, what I do is I pick up the vibe. Right? And we all do that. But every living thing gives off energy and it's known as an aura. Your plants have them, every living thing has this. And you know when people get too close to your personal space, they're kind of invading your aura. And so when the aura has colors in it, it usually kind of matches that part of your chakra system. So that's kind of what I'm going to be concentrating on, is just your general colors and then what's kind of coming up for you sooner rather than later. Any right. questions? Sounds good. Is it gonna hurt? <laughs> Tremendously. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but look at your necklace looks painful, so you're it's in very painful. Pain. Yeah. I think we're I good. Like pain. You're into pain. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Just take a deep breath. This is fun. Cool. Into the nose, okay. out. Yeah. Through the mouth, no talking for a second. Three. If you could do that three times, that'd be great. You know what else is interesting is that we're attracted to different colors. Like you guys have your hair colored a certain way, and you are wearing yellow. And that happens to be like the first kind of general color I picked up from you, which is kind of an adventurous leader kind of spirit. And your hair kind of even matches that. Yeah. You know, so you're presenting yellow. Um, and that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of good things up ahead. That's good. You've got more blue. Blues are more creative, writers, a little different centered than the yellow. You make you guys make a good team together. That's a good sign. That's, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> You've got this trip coming up. When are you when are you guys leaving? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> so I told you about the future side and um yours is fine. Yours is fine. That's good. That's two out of four, right? That's that's fifty fifty. Yeah. <laughs> The two of you have something going on, something coming up for you um, in the future. Doesn't necessarily mean it's tomorrow, um, but it is coming up and it's a little bit darker than I would like to see. Uh, are you guys taking precautions? Uh, kind of. Well, yeah. you, you've done this kind of ghost haunting stuff before, right? Yeah. So what do you do to protect your energy, to protect yourselves from running into something or or picking up something that you didn't want, you know what I mean? He yeah. always thinks we should, but we yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah. You, you should. I mean, I've, I've done like saging and all that before, and, I, and I always have great. my cross and all that, but these boys never... It's so hard to predict exactly. It's just like feelings and colors. I can't tell you, you know, turn right instead of left or anything like that. It's not an easy path. It's not the safest path. You guys are all pretty young. Uh, these spirits are not. Yeah. They are older and wiser than you are. Um, That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really scary. I don't like that. And for you, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different, Colby. It's um. Yeah, the see, there's a little black in in that future field, and uh, I don't like that color. It's not. Not a good color. What what colors do you wear when you go to these places? Black. Black. You yeah. wear black. Because why do you wear black? I always wear black. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing black now, but do you always wear black on these things? I mean, it just depends. But I mean, usually I, I wear black, right? Like yeah, you would say I like wear black yeah. most, mostly. And what is it? Why do you guys wear black so much? 
style. I mean. Yeah, it's easy, right? Everything goes with black. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I would suggest a little green, um, because again, green is the heart color. So bring along something a little green. Gold is also good. Marsh Lincoln bio, got gold. <laughs> That's yellow. We're talking oh, about okay. gold, oh. sir. <laughs> Are you able to do like a personal like hand reading maybe to You know, I can look but I'm not that's not really my thing. Okay. But but I'd I'd love to just give I mean, it a, a go a check through and see what I see. Maybe or, just you and I, right? If we have or, or just just you, bro. You know, I can just watch yours and then I can just be like, Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like to paint my nails. That's good, that's good. Yeah. So we were talking about you kind of giving off more of a blue energy. As far as tomorrow and, and that, that darker energy, that's, that's the future that's coming up for you. Well, we talked about protection and, and maybe wearing some green. Well, let's see what your palm says. Now, again, this is not my specialty. Um, I like the rings. Thank you. I like the nail polish. Thank you. That's a playful kind of energy. It's spirit. very playful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's probably more of a romantic than either of you. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look at the lifeline. Lifeline goes this way, and then yours just kind of branches off here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> You will have a long and healthy life. How's that? I, I, like, that. I like that. <laughs> that. That works good. Yeah. Perfect. Sign up for that. Now, your colors. We were talking about your colors and uh, finding the brown, the slightly muddy part. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's it's more for me right now. It's more about tomorrow or in the near future, this, this thing that you're going to come up against that you've come up against before. And um, I want you to know that though it may be frightening, you'll be ready for it. So you're saying that the, the bad that you see is most likely tomorrow? Well, it's, it's going to come up soon, but I don't want you to panic. Yeah, I mean, I got my cross, you know, I got my rings with my crosses and everything, so. Right. Yeah, Corey never and panics. I'll, and, I'll, and I'll pray. Yeah, dude, I'm not scared at all, dude. <laughs> you know, I've been ready for this trip since about 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for a good 30 minutes. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we label things bad. Now, when you're going into the spirit world, you, you kind of are crossing into territory that's maybe not always best disturbed. But most of life is not good or bad, it's just experiences to help you grow and move on. And how long do you want to continue doing this ghost stuff? Till we get 10 million subscribers, what's up? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Yeah, if we hit 10 know. million subscribers right now, we we'll won't stop. go to the Stanley Hotel. Do you, you feel like you guys are pushing your luck uh, by doing this? I mean, yeah, it was the whole reason that we quit YouTube for the last three weeks. Is it was getting way too dangerous. Yeah. It's scary, but I have fun. You have fun? <laughs> so you're, you're looking forward to this? Yeah. 100%? I'm excited. How about you, Corey? Huh? Are you looking forward He's, to it? It's closed. Do you notice yeah. his, his body posture? Give me a hand again. <laughs> <laughs> Open I'm up. Sweat, bro, my <laughs> palms are sweaty. These weak arms are heavy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to start rapping an Eminem song. Your lifeline, bam. Strong, full, long. Yeah! Take that, Colby. <laughs> <laughs> He's living a long and healthy life, too. Oh, he is? Yes. Okay. It's just well, something is weird going to happen. I'm not sure what that And is. you mm. said if with Corey, mm. it had to do with something he's seen before? It feels like he's coming up against a previous experience that he had when he was younger. And just, it's going to be a little different. And you know what that is. Dude, wait, you've told me about that before. He's ready for it. Because he's been yeah. holding this in his energy. Uh, and he's ready to let it go. And I'm afraid it may take a shock or a jolt to do that. Mm -hmm. But that happens to all of us. If, if, we, <laughs> if we want something and we, and we don't follow through it, with it, like 
something happens and you, you're pushed into it. You know, you're, you get uh, fired from your job that you hated. You know, yeah. it's, it's that kind of thing. So you're ready for this healing. It just may not feel like a healing at the moment. Sounds like the shadow man to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It sounds like some demon is about to return. Like since you've seen, like met us, or like way, way past. No, bro, that was when I was a little kid. Then I didn't find out what it was until I was like 17. For but the, yet, I've seen it for years. For have the you? viewers that have no idea what you're talking about, and for her, what exactly happened? Maybe she could help you figure that out. I used to play with a Ouija board a lot when I was a little kid. By yourself? Yeah, by myself, with friends, with family. But by myself, yeah, a lot. Because I thought it was so cool, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then, uh, yeah, right before I was like 18, just some really bad things with a Ouija board happened. Like, long story short, me and my friends played it. They didn't believe in the devil or God. Then all of a sudden, it started spelling out Zozo. Then we ran into the other room. The other room's doorknob starts shaking, the door shaking. Shadows start walking under the door. My oh friend my goes, dude, it's your parents pranking us. Open the door. Right. There's no one there. Oh, man. So then we shut the door, and then we're like, we got to go do something. We open the door again. All the lights in the kitchen are just flashing on and off. And then my homie's girlfriend was like, can I pray in your kitchen? And I was like, yeah. She starts <laughs> yeah. to pray, and as soon as she says, Jesus Christ, all the lights go out. Oh, we ran back to the room. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, so just stuff like that. It is, I think, and that's, that's actually opening a, a portal you don't really want to open. I mean, going to a haunted place is one thing, but trying direct communication through a Ouija board. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's I, horrible. It's horrible. We have to go tomorrow. You sure? <laughs> you sure we have to go? I already bought the tickets, bro. Positive. Yes. Okay, non refundable. I could have swore there was like a new movie coming out tomorrow, though. But it's fine. I'll just oh, you it. wanted to go watch that instead? Yeah, but it's cool. Okay. It's called The Shining Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I didn't give you much attention. Are you, are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you feeling, young man? I mean, I wasn't prepared to hear that there's today. Some, there's that black energy here? Yeah. yeah. But I'm ready. I mean, we've been planning this for so long now. Like, we just have to do it. Yeah, and don't forget, bring green. You guys bring love. What's like the worst color green? Black. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's my whole closet. And clean yourselves off when you when you leave. Yeah. Brush off the yeah all the way down your arm and off. Okay. All the way down and flick it. Down and flick. Jake. Well, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Great to meet you. You too. So scared. Mm. I can't wait to see what happens. Well, <laughs> thank you for everything that you just told us. I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little scared. You know what I'm saying? But but you're ready. Yeah. You are full of strength. You're grounded in the earth. And you're ready. Oh, Look at that. He's a good <laughs> off <laughs> I feel like Jake's nervous, bro. Quiet one. That's what we should call him the entire oh, set. Dude, you barely just talked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, he's... I'm shy sometimes. He's shy sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. He's always coming out randomly. I need to give you your hug. Of course. Mm-hmm. And you know what else you can do, gentlemen? You can hold hands. Oh, oh my god. Not with Jake and after that. Yeah, I know. Not with Wax Boy. Wax Boy. <laughs> wax Boy. And then I want you to do this tomorrow too before you go in. So you just take a second to connect. Take that breath again in through the nose, out through the mouth. You've got sensors in your lower lungs. And when you take the time to breathe into that space, it signals your body that everything's okay. Because you can't do deep breathing when you're scared. Huh? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Corey, are you like, you scared now? Like, dude, what does that mean yeah, for I'm us? Scared. Have you been thinking about something like in your childhood or anything like that, or does that complete BS? Like, you think? No, it's very weird because I've been talking about Ouija boards a lot lately. You think she knew something? Yeah, that... bro. She's a reader, right? Yeah. How did she just call all that? I was gonna say, she's pretty accurate for everyone except maybe Jake, but he didn't say much, so maybe that was I happy. believe that those people are real, bro. I believe that people like that, like, have, like, a talent and all that's real. Next video, you're gonna see me, like, looking like a leprechaun. I'm gonna have a green <laughs> top hat and, like, a green suit on, just walking around. Bro, watch me wear all black. I don't give a f Jake, you're just, like, asking for bad things to happen. Don't you <laughs> <laughs>
Anyways, so. <laughs> Stanley Hotel tomorrow. Let's go, baby. What's up? I'm tired and I want to die. What's up, man? Wait, did any of you bring a uh, green? Oh, are you, told oh, are you gonna pinch us? Pen I didn't bring green on purpose. All right, guys, we're tired. It's six in the morning. Let's do this. Thank you. Next stop, Stanley Hotel. <laughs> you ever had these before? No. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Dude, I've wanted to show you guys my parents' house for so long. Why does your parents live at the Stanley Hotel? Dude, because they're part of the Shining. Your mom is Mrs. Wilson? Here's yes. Colby. Oh, yeah. Great. Doing good, good, doing good. Stanley Hotel. Stanley. Well, okay, no. Have, do, do you know anything about the, the Stanley Hotel? Uh, I've been through there once. A nice old big white hotel. I just had a concert there my son went to, but oh, I wasn't yeah. there. It's a pretty far drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they say it's 76 miles or something. There's a broken window. Up top. Oh. On the left. Oh my god. I thought it was a face. This is it. We're all wearing all black. I don't get it, man, because it's like picture a ghost just, you know, chilling, going around. Oh no, he's wearing green. He's cool, man. <laughs> Should we do that little like ritual thing before we check in? Yes. This is the wait. start of the Stanley Hotel. Okay, wait. Should we go find green? No. Nah, it's too late. We got green around. all over the place. Dude, this is Colorado. There's green everywhere, brother. Wow. <laughs> That's why the ghost <laughs> likes green. Oh. Ow, Colby, you're holding my hand too hard. At least it doesn't have rings. Breathe in and out. And then we moan. That's it. And then go, oh, Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Finger this is part of the, the ritual. <laughs> <laughs> ashes, ashes. We all fall down. Oh, God. I actually did. The first thing that we do when we get here is what the medium said. Well, and dude. What did we just do? It made fun of it. It's not scary because it's made, daylight outside, we dude. We made fun of the ghost. Do you think it's pissed already? Yes. All right, let's go inside. That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, let's check in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you just oh, orgasm? I just had a haunted orgasm right there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? Oh, God. <laughs> right that where guy. that guy opened the window, like I kid you not, there's a giant famous picture right here. In a window right up there, like they see a ghost, and that like went hugely oh, viral what? a couple years back. You guys first. Welcome to the Stanley Hotel. Oh, oh dude, I recognize this place just from the research. So and Shane Dawson's video. Remember that right there was where like they saw the ghost. Oh, another one. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the most famous picture. There was also a bear that randomly came in here and just walked around the lobby. I don't think it was a haunted bear. I think it was actually just a bear. I think it was so a haunted bear. Scary. <laughs> Hello. Uh, check in. We uh, came here because we hear it's uh, haunted. It is. Do you, do you think that for a fact? Or do you not believe it? No, I think that for a fact. They don't have the money to fake it. I mean, what do you think? There's holograms in, in the hallway and stuff like that? No. No? But have you ever seen anything? I've seen a lot of cool pictures and I get a lot of eerie feelings in certain rooms. Definitely. I was in the carriage house, which is the building down here that's got boards on it. And I was with a co worker and we were getting some stuff out of there. He decided to take a burst fire picture, you know, where it takes 25 pictures in one second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one was different than the one before it and the one after it. It was right around picture 22 because there's a shape there and a shape there. 
that were not there in the pictures before or after. That's insane. Oh, that's and crazy. This, this is you or some huh? friend? That was me and, and a couple. I didn't sense anything. I didn't feel anything. I didn't hear anything, see anything, nothing. But, but there's definitely something there. What the crap do you want? The antelopes follow us everywhere we go. No way. Just like Bill Moore, dude. Uh -huh. Wait, does that call the M McGregor room? They say that if you listen carefully, you can hear him actually practicing in there. Listen, listen. Oh, the Mayweather's. No way, let's get out of here. She's sucking up the ghosts in the vacuum, just like Luigi's Mansion. What? No it's a way. Great game. Yes. It's a great game. Wait one second, Jake. We were coming here to be scared. Yeah. But we're gonna come here and we're gonna play Luigi's Mansion on real life. <laughs> we're not here to deserve the peace, <laughs> just the yes. Oh god, something's wrong with Corey, guys. These are all ghosts. That's Barack Obama, sir. Oh my god. I don't that think so. I asked the guy at the front, and he says this whole building is open 24-7. No so way. So we can go into like the scary concert hall, the ballroom at like 3 in the morning. Let's do it. We have to do that. Woo! Oh! Gee! <laughs> <laughs> I just found a picture on the wall that looks exactly like Colby. <laughs> uh, does that look like you, Colby? Kinda. It's literally us four. <laughs> Dude, that's me! That is me. That's me. Tell me that doesn't look like me. Why is there always an ominous mirror at the end of hallways? I know, it's not weird. It's the same way as like Biltmore. It's like super warped. Yo, unless we're right next to it. Yo, Sam. Wait, dude. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. we gotta do we gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. Corey, get in here. Wait, wait, Jake. Jake. Get right here. Get Jake. right here. Get Jake. right here. Just I understand. Get Just I understand what you're doing, Jake. Sam. Yeah. But do you understand what's behind you and Colby? What? Pose for two seconds before we all freak out. I'm flipping out right Ready? now. Okay. Wait. What was that? It has to, dude, it has to just be like when people are walking. Look at all the cracks in the ceiling. What the hell do you want? You can let her just go. Hey. Wait a second. This is it. This is where Stephen King stayed and had those nightmares. And created the shining on the balcony in this. This is also where Shane Dawson stayed because we watched his video and we loved him. There's probably someone in there, but it looks like the door's open, and we could just open it. What do you mean the door's open? Oh my god. Is, do you want to try? No, 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 no. Or knock? Try, try, try. Want to knock first? Try, try, they, try. they run out of this room. Oh, true, true. Ah, the top. I'm out. I don't want to do it. The top goes. Right. Oh, god. You could literally, like, stick your phone or your camera, like, through these doors, bro, and, like, see what's through the other side. That's so creepy. Dude, dude. Ew. Ew. Oh, okay. Dude. Okay. That's disgusting. Oh, what's going on? Look, dude, there's, like, a neighborhood right behind this. I didn't even realize that. Imagine living next to the Stanley Hotel. <laughs> oh, that would suck. Be careful. 90% of the haunted activity nowadays happens on the fourth floor. They like <coughs> have sec sectioned off different things called spirited rooms where multiple encounters take place. Yeah. I just watched that light turn off and that door wasn't open. The door really locked down there. I'm just saying. I literally just watched that light in there turn off. Is there any, I was hearing somebody that in there. Door, remember, remember we heard that noise? We're like, what the f is that? Then we walked that way. Yeah. That door was shut. No way. Dude, there's no. Oh, there is somebody in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude. I'd rather be somebody than a ghost, bro. Yeah, Could bro, you imagine you walk in there and you see a ghost? You're like, oh, my bad. And the ghost just fades away. <laughs> Usually we do videos at night. You can't see it. jack crap anything. We're going to go take a look around the outskirts of the hotel. So we got to like put our bags, you know, by the front desk. Don't they do that? Like, yeah, no, they'll hold it for us. All I can think of when I see these hallways is that little kid on his tricycle. Did, you never saw The Shining, oh right? Oh, God. But I've seen so many clips. No. You yeah, have the little kid and then there's two girls. The twin girls, like, dead in the hallway, like, That's right there. Weird. That's weird. Did they do that on purpose? Dude, I wonder if it, look, it happens at the same, oh, same yeah. thing on the other side, right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that one's not, that one's not. Dude, why are you crying? Do you know what the frack did? 
Dude, do you know what this room is? What? what? All these mirrors are facing each other. You are not supposed to have mirrors facing each other. Oh, they, they said that that's like worse than a Ouija board. Dude, that's like an- Oh, no, dude! They said there was a portal in this. The vortex, remember? Wait, there's, there's a vortex? Right? That's, that's right here, a vortex. This? Yes. Boom. You were right, brother. This big one leads to right there. Dude. Look, that one goes to that one. And then it just so happens that that guy, the painting, is almost making like a double mirror. It's reflecting off of the mirror. Yeah, man, you can see in my camera that it just goes on forever. And you're not supposed to do that, especially in paranormal locations. The entire second floor. Mirror. All the way across. Oh. Mirror. All the way across. So no, this do you, whole floor. Do you understand? Like that's actually really bad. This is where they saw the woman. Yeah, right, right on. Oh right my on the god! Stairs down yes, here, yes, yes, yes. Right there. All these mirrors are facing each other, and that's where they caught the most famous picture of the ghost. She was standing right here, right for the two mirrors, right for the two mirrors, and that Boom. was where he got the photo from the bottom too. All the photos line up. I mean, bro, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. 14 mirrors just right here. Hedge maze. This was, ba oh. this was based off the movie. Dude! Yeah. Oh. Come here, Jack! Yeah, yeah. Come here! Get away from me! Get away from me! Come here, boy! <laughs> That's how it that's how did it. Okay. Red Ram. Red Ram. Oh, Red God. Ram. Do you remember that? He had a little voice that talked through his fingers. Red Ram. Red Ram. This kid was smart. He was running in the movie. The guy was chasing him with a broken leg, and then he covered his tracks in the snow, and then ran down a different path and got away. Remember that? Yeah. Dude. That was insane. Here is the second most famously haunted part of this hotel, which is the concert hall. Ready to perform an opera? Dude, yeah. Well, dude, look at all these butterflies, man. I'm turning gay. Butterflies it, it, mean good luck and prosperity. So they know that we're <laughs> tonight. <laughs> They're like, everybody, go fuck they around them. them. Sounds like there's people in there, man. But I guess we can go in. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the basement of the concert oh! hall. Oh! This is where that squatter lived. Lucy. Yeah. The little girl? Yeah. She probably stayed right back here. In the research, I don't know if I covered this, but like there's tunnels connecting like the hotels underneath. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's where she was hiding. There's not going to be workers here at 3 in the morning. No way. So we'll have to come back. The ghost is on to Tarty. To Tarty's on the far. So are we going back to uh, the room or what's the plan? Yeah, I mean, it's so loud right now. It's probably better if we just explore our own hotel room. Or explore each other. Yeah, I mean, we're in California, so it should be loud. <laughs> yo, 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 low key. We're in California? Low key, I'm down to explore my sexuality. Wait, 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 redo that, redo that. Let me, let me say mine joke and all right, then say don't it. Put I, won't, it in there. I won't cut this. At Luckily, all. we're in Colorado. Okay, go. Well, you live in the hotel? In my bathroom every morning. You do your daily routine, you wake up, and then there's two handprints on the mirror every single morning. No every morning? morning? And I just wipe it off like nothing happens anymore. Same exact position? Yeah, same exact position, two exact handprints. They're like little girls' hands as well. They're not like what? little girls' hands. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, look at the lady back there. You kind of got to tilt the camera oh. up. Yeah. Do you oh, see her point right. back there? There's one right there too. Yep. Oh my god. This Yo, is it's, like... it's this type of mirror. If we see the mirror that looks exactly like this, bro, we have to take like 50 pictures. Definitely. Yeah, we have to. like try over and over again. Okay guys, so we got our bags from the front desk and now we're finally going to check out our room. Oh, what? Yeah, Someone kicked it down. Dude, why the f is this so loose? Oh, dude, dude, dude. Did you take it off? Is there anything behind there? Did we break it already? No, dude. It's just like, look, look. Alright, well we Yo. did get one of the, like, most haunted rooms on the fourth floor. It's called like a spirited room. On there. What are you guys doing? Going to the helipad? Dude, we can actually get up here. Oh, it's locked. Oh, not if you push hard enough. <laughs> look, behind you. Where? It's on the step. What the f***? What the f***? Okay, yeah, that is a live pop. I'm gonna get it. I don't like get it. Get it, really. What the f***? <laughs> No. Why would you eat that? 
Ew! <laughs> oh my God, you did dude. not just eat that. That's probably so old. That's disgusting. No, 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 dude, dude, Lucy. With the lollipops. Oh. Remember that? What? Dude, someone, someone did that. That's funny. Why would it be on the way to hop? No, that's hilarious. She's known to close doors and move like candy, such like lollipops. Like you put a lollipop like on it. Shut up. They, 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 they had to have done that a long time ago, bro, because this tastes old. Dude, I bet someone just like puts it up there so like people like us go and find we'll, it. like find it in weird places. Dude, but that's- There's probably all lollipops like hidden all around this hotel. Overnight, would we do like the seance? We should actually run and go get like a bag of lollipops and put them around. Should we put that one back up there? Yeah. She, she's known to close doors and like move lollipops. Maybe we just open all the doors and put the lollipops there and see if like something happens. I'm done. I'm done to go get that. We're 428. Stop it. Oh god. <laughs> ah what the f Jake? Dude. Oh why would you do with that? With the rings on! Yeah, why would you do that, bro? Just hit him back. Why would you do that with the ring hand? You punched the sheep. <laughs> no! Oh, Colby. Do you see how red that is? Ow. Dang, you really hit him hard, Sorry, dude. dude. You don't want to hit me back? No, I don't believe in violence. Here we go. Welcome to the Stanley Hotel. Da -da -da. What do you mean? We're already in the Stanley. Whoa. Oh, God. Oof. Oh. Wow. Oh. 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 Like old woman. Old it smells people. like old woman. Uh, it oh god. Nothing's worse than the smell of old people. I hope all the rooms smell like this. Whoa, dude. They have a surfboard in here. Dude, they have Narnia in here too? Dude, What's maybe TV? we can teleport to a different world. Ooh. I was stuck. It's so unmodern and then boom, like some high-tech thermostat looking thing <laughs> that's so out of place. Dude. We could go on the roof. We could easily go on the roof. Remember Mrs. Wilson, that like maid ghost lady who like cleans up like everything? Yeah. We should purposely get the room dirty and see if she cleans it up. I'd be down. I, I saw a video on that though and it didn't work. So I'm kind of skeptical. I'm done oh, trying. Really? It was also the lady I think that was like involved with that explosion way back then. Let's just do it all. Like let's set out candy. Let's open all of our doors at night and then Have you still been getting spam calls? No. What do you mean? You're not gonna answer it? No. <laughs> Dude. I haven't got a call that says no caller ID since Bill Moore. Since Bill Moore? Since Bill Moore. So it's been a month. Dude, that happens literally every, every place. I get a <gasps> no, dude, listen! Oh boy. I'll answer it. No, 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 no. Answer, answer, answer it, answer it, answer, answer it. We have to. Dude, no, no, no. Actually, remember past Biltmore at Griffith, it was just Spectrum. Yeah. Remember, it was just a Wi Fi thing. It's, it. it's probably just like a, like a service thing. You only YOLO once, man. Just answer it. It's too late. No, it's too late. It's right. too late. In the mission, I that one right. Yeah. And I'm like, how? No! Okay, you have to answer it, bro. Yeah, bro. You have to. Because you can't block them. You don't have a choice. If, if, since, they have, since they have no color ID, you can't even block them if you or want to. Put a fan gummy number or something. Wait, put on speaker. Hello? Dude. What? It was no, so no, no. fireworks. Dude, I don't even think I have service. How are you getting a bunch of coals? We're in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why is this making me laugh? Oh, oh God, oh, it's doing it again. <laughs> Why? No, 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 dude, okay, don't answer it. Jake, don't answer it. Don't. This is Margaret. No, this is Patrick. Um, please do not call this number again. Thank you very much. Dude, no answer. It's like, you can't even hear like a, like a static or anything behind it. Did a fan get your number? Oh, Sam's okay. turn. <laughs> Sam, Sam, you got this. Sam, take what it. What the f Seriously, what the f Dude, the, the, the worst part is you can't block the number. If, if, it's, if it's a private number, you can't block it because you don't have the number to block. 
Maybe turn your phone off for a oh, second. Yeah. I don't know. Put it on airplane mode. Dude, that happens every and it's only to Corey that that happens to. Whoa! It all started when you answered the phone. Yeah. Remember? That's in the started. first Biltmore, it called the room, and you answered it. And then you started getting more calls. But at the mission end, they called the room too. It's like, what? Every time we go to a hotel, we just get called. At the Biltmore, they said that the last time that Elizabeth was seen alive, or the last that she was heard alive, was she answered the phone, right? Yeah. And then she died. And, and then the, then the psychic just said, us. you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Guys, no! Yo, do you think when she said like he'd have some things from his past, she was talking about just like a month ago? Oh. What if she didn't mean from like childhood? I just got chills, you are right. You should have worn green, brother. Should we go out and like, go to like Target? Get We're getting lollipops, anyways, right? Yeah, let's get something let's green. Let's get some green. We should be smart about this. Yeah, dude, that's that's a weird connection. I have that like device. You said you know how to work it in the car, right? Oh, yeah. So like, if you're getting calls right now, what device? Why not? I just bought like an electromagnetic device thing for this trip because we never like have anything like actual like paranormal device thing. Uh huh. So like, why not, you know? Being fancy? Being fancy this time. So it's literally called like a spirit box. ITC frequency research device. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you remember that guy said like the two handprints were in the bathroom? Don't you dare say something. Have we even like checked the bathroom yet? Oh, I thought you were like, there's like, two handprints behind no. me. Uh, you can um, check it. Oh God! I don't see anything, brother. Did you do a stink stink in the bathroom, Jake? You guys blame me for anything that happens in a video. That was Corey. I was making coffee. It was not me, brother. I'm older than 18. I don't do that. Oh my God! Look, listen. Did the door just close? Is that what it sounded like for yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might need a little speaker. Like they normally plug like a little uh, Bluetooth speaker into it. This is the microphone, so if you like point it somewhere else. He's coming right now! As you just said that, it goes, he's coming right now. No, I don't believe you. It what? just said he's coming right now. What this does is this plays back, like, this plays like radio frequencies and stuff backwards. So it'll pick up when spirits are trying to like talk, they'll take like voices from every radio station. Is there anyone in this room with us? Oh my god! <laughs> what are you hearing? Wait, did you just go, hey, hold it. All this thing does is it's going bzz, 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 on all the channels of frequency. Did not say anything the entire time I had it in my ear. And as soon as Corey was like, is there somewhere in here? It goes, hey. And then it goes back to it. Hey, someone went, hey, hey. Listen. Literally nothing. That's weird. Are you still with us in this room? What the fuck was that? What? What, what, what was, was that? It was just like... It's like music or something. It was like... Oh, wow. Don't do that, Jake. Okay, we were told that tonight might be a very bad night. Is that true? What the fuck? Dude. What, 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 what'd it say? What'd it say? Bro, that literally said a storm is coming your way. No way! It can't be that clear. <laughs> Dude, Corey! That was what, so weird. What did it actually say? You could hear perfectly clear it go, your way. And right before that, what Jake says, like, the storm is coming, your way. The your way was so f***ing clear. And it was like in a different channel? It was all different channels, bro. It was like two put into one. Oh my god! Okay, we have to. We, we, we have, have to, to get, get a speaker because nobody understands this. Okay, problem. guys, we gotta go get a speaker. We're gonna get lollipops. We're gonna get green because this is going to be a crazy night. My god. This is just the beginning, too. What was that? What was that? Did y'all just f***ing hear that? <laughs> oh What's my god. Uh. Yo guys, we were all just like napping here for a second and there's a giant slam that just happened in this closet. It was like, Kaboom!
It was like la- that. But louder. Louder than that. Louder, and than that. louder than that. And there was like this shattering too. You heard, or like, you you heard it go, yeah. Yeah. It was like a crash almost. <laughs> like what? Is someone outside? No. There's what? not even a door right there. No way. No, yeah. This is the last one in the hall, remember? Dude, that sounded like right in that closet. Yeah, you heard that too, right? Yeah. How could it have been? It was the loudest. Yeah. What the hell was that? I have no idea. Oh, whoa, 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 They're shaking. They're shaking. Yo! It just did it again. Did they shake because you just opened it really fast or something? But no, when me and Sam opened it two minutes ago, it wasn't, and then we both hit it. Whatever it sound happened just happened again, but even louder. It's like this giant. You know how the hangers were just shaking? Yeah. Dude, it is going out of focus, bro. It. Look, it's not what? focusing on. Oh, but now it is. It was able to focus on Look you. Look at my arms, bro. I have chill dude. standing right here. Oh my god, you can see that goosebumps, dude. Look dude, at his arm. Dude, stand in here. Stand in it's there. It's freezing in there. I'm not even Sam. You go in there too. Is it not dude, freezing? Dude, but yeah, you can definitely feel a different temperature. Like as soon as you get past, like no, no, feel that. Feel this, and then go like this. Yeah, definitely. Feel that. Mm-hmm. That literally, I mean, I don't know. That's weird. We're gonna do an exploration when this gets... Was that a thud? Was that you, Jake? What do you mean? Can you see him casually just laying here, Sam? No, no, it just sounded like a thud on the bed, right? I don't know. We're gonna do an exploration when it actually gets dark out, but literally already, we're just sitting in here. We've only been back from our dinner for like 10 minutes. We did end up getting a speaker system for this, what is it called? Like, electronic spirit box thing? Spirit box thing. Portal. Later tonight, we're gonna take that to 217, but we'll play with it right now for a minute. I wanna play with you right now. Did you just hear that? And Colby's naked. Colby, <laughs> god dang it. Did you just Woo! hear that? Yeah, that was a- Wait! We're the top floor. We're the top. There's no one above us. There's no one above us. You heard the booms above us. Yeah, that's There's no weird. one above us. It's Dude. the f***ing roof that's above us. How is no one else scared right now? Okay, okay. Am I the Ta- only one? Taking <laughs> one step back, we did see a lot of construction on this. Yeah. So someone could be on the roof, but I don't okay. think that would okay. make it slam in the closet. If that happens tonight, I'll be scared. So Sam finally came out of the closet. Dude, it was so weird. I felt something grab my dick, bro. Dude, I yeah. I was laying down. It must have been a ghost or something. Yeah, that was probably Dude, a ghost. Dude, you're like the only other person on the bed. Dude, I'm pretty sure it was... No, I would never do that. This is the worst part about the hotel right here. Oh my god, dude, it's dark now. So much scarier. I don't like the vortex. Just to give you guys a little update on what's going on, uh, we got the speaker finally set up with this thing, and we're just gonna walk around like the hotel, and maybe we'll pick something up. I don't know, we're at the vortex place right now. It looks really scary. It looks like that Luigi Mansion game. You wanna do it here first? Yeah, let's do it here. Let's see if we find anything. I definitely think this is supposed to be the most with ghosts, and 217 in the hour room. We gotta stand right here and do it. We like right through the portal? Yeah, this is it, bro. Don't try this at home, guys. I got a bug, I got a bug, buzz that guy. Alexa, play a little pump. Red rum. Red, red, red. Red rum. Thumb and bum. Okay, so we finally got it working. Hello. He's doing ghost stuff. We literally just Not talked yet. to George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Dude, ghosts like upset music. Only one person talk. Yeah. Yeah. How just No others. What did it say? Is that what it said? No others? 
No! What did it just no. say? I heard Kia. It keeps being a woman. Think about that. It's, it's going funny. through over a thousand stations right now, and we keep hearing a woman. There's only one portrait of a woman. Hey, look, look at that. This is, what'd you say? Wait, wait. Is like, it, if you look at that or look around or something. It said if you look at that or look around. Look, as soon as we look Right there. Around. That's the only woman. I can't believe we keep getting only a woman. So this is what's talking, or who could be talking to us right now? What? What is your name? What? My name's Jake. I don't know your name. I, I don't can't. care. Is that what I don't care. care. Wow. What a You're joking around, bro. They know that Jake's joking. Yeah, yeah. You right, just said I don't care. The door to close. Oh, the door closed earlier in our room. Wait, when we were sleeping, was the door closing? Is that what was making the noise? Excuse me. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Someone just knocked. Somebody just knocked. Yeah, we should go. Someone's knocking at 217. When I met you, girl, my heart went. No. <gasps> that was one knock. It's probably just people like in the hallway and they're looking out and they're like, hmm. No one can see. Probably just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, so like, the noise? It was probably a ghost because you guys probably don't know that song. Is there anyone here at room 217? What? <laughs> Is there more than one spirit living around 217? I don't want to be here anymore. It said get off the property. The same thing, bro. Why are they just knocking on their door while we're 15 feet away? Listen. You hear that? That sounds like T's going off. Yeah. It's like a really high pitched sound. What if they just open it if they wanted us to leave? So do you think there's someone still in there? I don't think there's someone in there. I think it's a spirit. No, like if we saw somebody like outside our door doing that, we'd like. Like, yeah, would we, would we mess with them? That's weird, bro. Oh no, you're no, good. You're no, good. No, we're just hearing stuff. We don't know if it's because there's someone in there, but they keep knocking on it. Like that door has knocked like ten times in the past sixty seconds. If it hasn't said a word, but no one's opened the door. We keep asking if there's someone there, but and they just knocking. keep knocking on it. That's the that, that's the that's the one that's yeah. Like yeah. the haunted room. Yeah. yeah. Right? Are you guys like walking around <laughs> looking for uh, weird stuff? Yeah. I just told a girl, have you been to the fourth floor yet? Yeah, we're yeah, staying on it. We're, we're on the fourth floor as well. So yeah, that's where we passed you guys. Did you guys see that stairwell that like went to the attic? Yeah. Did yeah. you did you look at like look at it? Why? What's up? So I shine my light to see like the the lock. Yeah. And right beside it it says red row. Like, no way. You gotta red go red. up yeah, there. I just, I just took you a got that on your phone? Yeah, oh, I got it upstairs. I don't think that there is a human in there. I got the magic touch. They would have opened the door. I got the magic touch. You wanna do it? Yeah. Oh, dude, dude, oh. dude, dude. Well, well, come on. Jake. What do you mean you have the magic touch? Jake. Jake. Did it just break? Jake. You did not just break it. What was that? I didn't even click anything. Dude, this is bent in half. Wait, let's see if it turns on anyways. Just one click? Yeah. Or like, holding it. One click does the trick. Yeah. <clears throat> One click does the trick, brother. It's not turning on. So Jake broke it. No. Jake, it. you dropped it. <sighs> it's okay. Maybe we just uh, take out the batteries and stuff. They ha still have like the owner's manual and stuff. So let's just do that. Plus, we're done here anyway. We actually have so many other things we need to like explore okay, here. But really quick, we're sure that wasn't like somebody. I'm. I think it's somebody. But I would think they would have said something by now. There's so many like knocks. But all I'm saying is that if we saw four kids doing the same thing out of our hotel room, we'd be like, <laughs> Good point. You know yeah, it's probably not. We might do some more research because apparently these like rooms have certain stories behind them, but like we don't know that yet. I'm sorry. Yeah? I feel like I've seen you guys somewhere. Yeah, we, we, we do like YouTube and stuff. Did you do videos before that? Vine. Um, yeah, Vine, I think. 
at oh. Oak Park Mall. <gasps> Wait, what? Oak Park? Yeah, yeah. We we like lived in uh, really lived in Kansas. We like yeah, did so did I. Where in Kansas did you live? Leewood. Leewood. Dude, that's where I'm from. That's awesome. I would see the Oak Park Mall and I'd be like, I go there every day, so. Oh my god, that's sick. Yeah, we're just here filming a video. For it's what? Sick. Oh, world, what the hell? For what? Oh, we're, um, like, just like Stanley, you know, like, it's haunted. We do a lot of paranormal investigations, so we're about to, like, just tour the whole place. How about you? What, why are you here? If uh, you're from Leewood. Oh, actually, now I'm from L.A. I'm an actress, and I'm here for a shoot that's tomorrow. You're from Leewood, where we grew up, mm -hmm. and then from L.A., and then now you're here? That's crazy! <laughs> What are the odds of that? Nice meeting you. That's fucking nice awesome. Yeah, good to meet you. This is like my favorite place. And I feel very connected <laughs> to the Stanley Hotel. You say you feel connected mm -hmm. to the Stanley Hotel? Yeah. What do you mean? Do you have like a, a story? I have a lot of stories. Can we like film you? Yeah. What, what's your name by the way? Jennifer. What's up? I'm Sam Colby. We all do Vine though. Jake and, and Corey. Well, we don't do Vine right now. We're TikTokers. So sad. What do you know? Just like random stuff? Or did you like... Take a tour, or no, I just know random things that some people don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, are you? Are you doing? Are you going anywhere? Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. I was just walking around. But where, where are you staying at? Like what? Uh, two sixteen. Oh, cool. If you want, we're about to go on a like a trip, like just going around it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We're about to learn a bunch of scary things. Yeah, cool. Like, do you have any recommendations of where should we should go first? Uh, fourth floor has a lot of children that run around. Tri children? Yeah, they like to run around and they like to mess with all the people. They really like 428. 428? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's where, that's where we're staying. So you say there's children on the fourth floor? Yes, because this used to be where the children, the mothers, and the workers would stay before they made it into rooms. And then now a bunch of children run around. You'll hear them laughing in the middle of the night. And then in here, a cowboy stands at the foot of the bed. But if you are a woman, he will come over and kiss you on the forehead. Jake, he's going to come and kiss you on the forehead. Maybe when uh, someone grabbed my wiener, maybe it wasn't Colby. Okay, that's a long story. Uh, we won't have to talk about that, but <laughs> it's so weird because we literally just like heard like two giant knocks in our room probably an hour ago in the closet. In the closet, and the like swinging and stuff. Have you heard anything about like the closets? Yeah, they like to go into the closets. <laughs> Dude. Dude, when, okay. we were, when we were doing this, remember we said like, is there anyone here? And we got a hey from like a dude's voice. Yeah. Is there anyone in this room with us? Oh my god! Dude, can we switch rooms? Why did you pick the room with a haunted cowboy in it? Yeah, we should go to 427. Basically every room up here like, has a story, right? Yeah, 401 has an Irish man who stands in the closet, and if you're a woman, you go in and he'll start grabbing your hair and putting his hand on your neck. Oh! I'm glad we did not come here as a woman. <laughs> Good thing we didn't come here six years from now. Yeah, jeez. Is that just, wait, is wait. that it, or is there like multiple? Yeah, can you uh, show us? Our room's haunted by a cowboy. Okay. Maybe if we, you know, lure him with, you know, some cowboy words, maybe he'll communicate with us. Dude, everybody's just randomly giving us facts about this place. That guy said he saw red rum up there. You want to go see if you can look, see it? Yeah, I'm going to try not to hit my head this time. Oh, oh the way it's up. What? How did we not see that? How did we not see that? Do you know, like, about other places besides those rooms? Did you hear about Paul? He worked here for 10 years, then he died of a heart attack and he hangs out in the concert hall. And he was very strict on curfew and at 11 p.m. people would hear him whisper in the ear, get out, because he wants them to go to bed. And some people feel their chest start hurting because he had the heart attack so they start feeling it. Oh, whoa. Oh, shoot. I thought the concert hall was where Lucy stayed. Yeah, she was under, in the basement. So there's, like, there, so there's tunnels in, in the hall, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Just random question, get like scared staying here? Like you, you said uh, you're by yourself? I don't like sitting in the vortex because every time I sit there, my head starts to hurt really bad and I just feel really heavy. Like just now I was down there for a good five minutes and I just like wanted to throw up. Wait, even though I kind of make you uncomfortable, can, you, can we like <coughs> go towards the vortex thing? Yeah, let's go. 
She was by herself, and then she told us to look around. Do you know it much about that? Like, why? Why is this like place like haunted? All we know is like it looks freaking weird with all these mirrors. Uh, I believe it's because since they built this on a burial ground, normally that causes the building to form a vortex for spirits to be able to come in. They built the Stanley on a burial ground. That's why this place is so haunted. They still build houses on burial grounds. <sighs> Let's go buy one of those houses. I don't think we should do that at all. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Video. Really bad idea, actually. <laughs> okay, good thing. We can go back to the concert hall because we never really yeah. got there. How old are you? I'm 21. Dude, I would not be able to do that alone. I'm 21. That's props to you. Like, good for you. Or that's kind of frightening. I'm drawn to these things. You, wait, you said you're attracted to these types of things? Are you like yeah. into paranormal-ish too? Yeah, and they're also very drawn towards me. And I experience a lot of things. Like Corey that. has the same thing. <laughs> He's very drawn to spirits as well. Why don't you bring a jacket, brother? I think you would go outside. Sam. Before I met you guys, I actually heard humming on the second floor while I was sitting there. Really? What? I heard someone walk down steps, there was no one there, and then all of a sudden I heard humming. Yeah, he's still doing the He's floor. still oh, yeah, like redoing still the floors. On. Maybe let's go in the basement. Oh my god, it's a bunny! Not to be weird, but like, why would you be alone? I don't know, bro. I'm kind of freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of strange. Taylor, we shouldn't have invited her. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, she knows a bunch of stuff, but it's like, what if she's faking it? True. Hey. What? What? You guys are a little slow there. Oh, sorry. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, this is so much creepier at night. Alright, Jake. I'm actually a little scared, guys. Yeah, I'm scared too. So all we know kind of is like, Lucy stayed here. Do you know anything about this? Or maybe like talk about the concert hall? Um, she, well, I know she was a runaway and when they were shutting it down, maintenance came down here and found her hidden. And then they kicked her out, but it was during the winter, so it was below zero. So when she went out, she couldn't find shelter and she froze to death. She froze to death? Oh, that's such a sad way to die. Yo, you remember that yo, with, yo, pictures? Yo, yo, yo. with the pictures? Yes. Oh my god. This yo, is it's it's this type of mirror. They were all standing here and there was somebody standing behind them, remember? I'm gonna do one more. Okay. See if you see any. What was that? Dude, there's so much construction in here, I can't even think. Tap here. And then, oh, wait, just tap it once. Wait, what is that? That orb thing? No, wait, what is that line? Is that in all the... That's only in that picture? That's literally only in that picture. What the fuck is that? What? It's a hardcore street. It's going straight to the like back of my head. It's like a giant pole. What? Look! What? Nothing. And no What is that? Way. And even this. And even this. Well, he just took Dude, a that looks like a face almost. Do you see that? I... Wait. Yeah. Holy shit! You wait, wait, scared wait, wait. me Sam? so sorry. Sam, is that sorry. you? Is that you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Like, it could be Jake's light, like, just like a streak or something, I don't know. Bro, but it looks like a pole, it doesn't even look like a, sh a, a light, it doesn't look like a ray at all. It looks like... Cool, you wanna go upstairs? Or maybe a, a construction people are in there? What, what did you say upstairs? There's a like, dude that died? Uh, Paul died of a heart attack. I don't really wanna go upstairs, I mean, they're just like building it. Whoa. Yo, guys. Guys, what? that light just turned off. What the f what Did you hear that? What is that standing in between me? Oh anything? my god. This light just turned off in there. As soon as you took that picture. Do you see that? Come on. Come on. 
What was that? Was that construction? Or was that construct a... Dude, I don't think we should be in here anymore. I want to go back. Yeah, I got a horrible feeling about that room, bro. I'm going to take some pictures face Whoa. out. Jake, did you break something? No. What is this? It could easily have been a place that Lucy stayed. What, 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 what? Get out of here. All right, guys, let's go, let's go. Yo, what are you? Corey. Corey. I got a little kid peeking around the chair. Corey, no, no what? No, you didn't. Kid peeking no, around no, the you chair. didn't. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. What is yes? that? Yes? No, what? actually, what is that? That looks Wait. like a come, little come kid peeking. It. Come look at it. Yeah, that's Lucy. Oh. What? What? Yo, Jake, 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 oh god, where, Jake, we can't lose you, wait, what the f It's because we went in her room. Look, wait, this, this is the side, no, this is the side where it's peeking out of, there's nothing. I go to the other side. What was that? What was that? Yo, what did was you that? just hear her though? That is what, we, we guessed it right, that's Lucy's room. Can we go in there and take a picture of that exact spot and like try to debunk it real quick? Yeah. Because dude, this is f actually. Someone turn on their flashlights and Oh, my phone's dead. What? It, it was at 80%. And it's, it's dead? Yeah, I charged it to 80% and it's dead now. Bullshit, bro. Alright, Sam, come here. Here, just shine the light over there. I kind of want to see what from like a camera perspective. Could it have been that? We're saying it could possibly be the handle. Okay, maybe, but I don't know. Wait, see? wait, 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 wait. Like, where we just were? I heard like things moving, and then I heard footsteps, and I looked over, and I just saw this white appear, and then I just walked out. What? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? No way. I, cause I, whenever we, like literally when we were walking out, my heart started beating fast when she said that, and then I started hearing like, I felt like wind. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Are you okay? that we overstepped our boundaries? I mean, I think they were just telling us that they were there the whole time. Oh, oh, oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Sam. I see it now, I see it now! What Sam. the <laughs> Yo, send me that, we're gonna put that what? on the screen right now. Check that out. Oh that is God. a face. Jennifer, look at, look at this. What do you think that is? Right there. Mm -mm. Oh, oh God! God! Dude, it's like short like a child. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my God, it looks like it's screaming, like it's angry. When did you take that? Just now. Was it like as we were leaving? As we were leaving. That, that, was, that was the second before you said, let's get out of here. That was the second before you said that. So that entire time something was watching us. So, uh, obviously we're making a YouTube video here. Could you do some really creepy faces for like a thumbnail or something? <laughs> Perfect. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm I, sorry, I don't know what to say. Me neither. Like, it's like, it's so weird. Literally, I always just like mess around in our videos, and then once stuff starts to go down, you know, it's just I was change your attitude. You change your attitude. I think she's gonna peace out. She's got that gig tomorrow. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, thank again. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate like, it. Appreciate it's it. nice to meet you all. Definitely. Nice you too, yeah. yeah. I'll text you. Yeah. What do you mean you're gonna text her? She was creepy as fuck. But she like helped us. I don't think she was that creepy. You didn't think so, Dan? No. Dude, she like left like four times while we were in the concert hall alone. She didn't even have a flashlight on. I know, but she was like nice. Like she helped us out. She gave us a tour. I Dude. just was talking to her about how we we're gonna just do a seance and just let's meet up with her tomorrow and like just talk about it. I don't know. You're gonna meet up with her again? I mean, if you think about it, like a lot of the stuff that went down, like she was with us. I just said, come meet us for breakfast in the morning because she's leaving for a gig tomorrow. Okay, I mean, she might be like a fan though. She might like give out your number if you did that. It's too late, but I don't know. I'm not worried about it. She's from Kansas too, like whatever. Still, whether or not she was cool or nothing, like I've kind of got weird vibes. She was creepy as for sure, yeah. Like why, why does a girl like come here alone 
and then come around with four dudes, even but if no, she knew us. Dude, like literally 10 minutes before we met her, there was that one guy too that was just like telling us stories. Maybe there's just so many creepy people that come here or like ghost investigators. Like look at us right now, like we're being hypocrites. True. So apparently there's, there's a cowboy that sits right here. She said that he like hides in closets or they like to hide in closets. So the noises that we heard when we were like sleeping earlier, could have been like a haunted cowboy. Bro, she was about to cry when we left. I know, and she was like so into all this stuff and she's like, I love it, I love yeah. it, and then boom. Boom, like just almost like her face changed. Twice almost. though, like one time when she first came out and said like, get the f out of here. And then another time right when we were standing in front of the entrance, I don't know if you caught this, but as soon as she looked at Corey's photo, she like went off and then like started like, like kind of like watering her eyes. Bro, and I like looked over and she was like this. Like she didn't want, not want to like have a see that she was eye watering, crying. How did she so know so much about, dude? We talked to every employee here about trying to find out facts, and nobody knew anything. And then a fan, for a random fan girl that knew us, that went to Oak Park Mall. What are like the coincident, like chances of that? That doesn't make any sense. I wonder. You should try to get like some information on her. That's why I got her number. Yeah. Yeah. Cause what if she was BSing, dude? She could have like not even been from. Oh. That's why she interested. All right, guys. A little update for you. We've been waiting around, but we're starting to get tired. We're trying to get it as late as possible to do this seance, but I think we're prepared and I don't want us to be like super sleepy for this seance, so let's just do it. Mm -hmm. If you're down. Corey? What? You ready to uh, summon some, some demon cowboys? No. All right, we'll deal with that. I like how we're still doing this when we went out of the way to hire a freaking psychic and then she was just like, yeah, don't do anything stupid at the Stanley Hotel, especially like Corey and I. And then, we're still doing it. But then let's just be safe about it. Do we have green? Wait, no, we don't. I don't have green. Wait! <sighs> Dude, I want to oh. <laughs> I forgot this! Dude, I put on green. I forgot this morning. I am saved. So Sam's the safe one. I am saved, brethren. Okay. This well, is awesome. So you're fine. That, that was on accident. I completely didn't even but realize that. But she also, that. when she read you, said you were going to be totally fine anyway. So, like, you want to give me that underwear? Or uh, what's up? I think we should just start it. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not trying to do a seance. I don't like that stuff, bro. What if we're, like, a lot more safe about it this time? Because we have, like, a lot more tools, and we're not going to ask creepy questions, I swear. Let's just set up, and then you can see if it's safe or not. Oh, yeah, 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 and that's something that they don't know this time, is like, this is not a regular seance. Like, what? usually, you know, just like sit down with the candles, hold hands and stuff like that. Yeah. We have, like, what, salt? Yeah, and salt, which helps protect... Pendulum, like, necklace things. Yeah, like. we're gonna put out a bunch of objects, and it's, it's gonna be more legit. We're gonna figure this out. Let's, let's just do it. It's the most haunted hotel. We have to go hard. And a really quick one more time, just look what's in here. Just a tiny closet, and you got just uh, the other tiny closet, which is where we heard like the smacks. Yeah, and the kettle hangers. And just to remind everybody one more time, this was the room where apparently there was like a perverted cowboy that would like kiss girls while they're sleeping. In this room, there's like a bunch of like children running around. Dude, it was the cowboy, Corey. It was the cowboy. <laughs> what was that? That was gross, that's what that was. But does the cowboy kiss people? Only if they're naked in bed. Yo, I forgot this. <laughs> what is that? We were at the store today, we bought lipstick. You know how we oh, saw yeah. red rum at the top of the attic? Yeah. Should we write this on, on our the mirror? mirror? Dude, literally everybody comments that you're like the creepy guy of the group, and I'm starting to agree with everybody. Like, why would you want to do that? You don't. I want to do it. Yeah, why doesn't no one give Jake any flack? Yeah. If you look into Jake's mind, I feel like you just have like the, the monkey with the symbols going chi, 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 chi. Dude, literally, I get that all the time. Um, I just realized that there's a cowboy in here and he's probably got the horses in the back. So, God. 
dude. This is the little kid, by the way, that's like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Red rum. So should I, in the back, should I just be like, red rum, little time, red rum. This is great handwriting, by the way. Red rum. Oh God, that's horrifying. Looks pretty good to me. That looks fantastic. I'm honestly not sure why we did that, but it just feels like kind of right that we did See, that. See, now you're being creepy, okay? Picture time. Red rat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Someone wanna toss a few around there for a possible Lucy or other whatever? I think they said like online that she moves it kinda like like this. Like if it's upright like this, she'll move it in a circle. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Alright, I'm gonna do five and do like a, like a spirit Chris. circle. Oh dude, look at that one. Oh that blue one's perfect. Wow. I need to find a caramel one. Those are my thing. Is it cool if I eat one or is that bad vibes? No, that's a cool vibe. We have candles in a circle. We gotta get both angles. We'll turn off all the lights. You said you had salt, right? Salt, yes. Jake just broke it. No, no, no. They say that, like, uh, demons can't cross over the salt, right? Yeah, so it's like a protection thing. Whenever we go to Utah in their basement, like, once it gets, like, their super scary spot, they have, like, a like a 15-foot salt line that we don't walk past. That should be protection. We'll like that. Oh, I have a couple things, too, actually. Could you hold this? Yeah, sure. I have a necklace that we can just, like, set up and see if it, like, moves, kind of like a pendulum or whatever you call those. Oh, speaking of things that move, can one of you guys grab some of those cups and fill it up with water? We're gonna see if it like ripples. This honestly isn't that big of a deal, but... It's just to test if things move. I mean, if, like, see how that moves right now? Once it comes to a stop, we'll see if, like, there's any wind or, like, movement from behind. Yeah. And then we got the water. We can see if it has any ripple effect. Oh, and I got some sage. Which I think, like, we should be smart, especially you and I, Corey, and, like, before we do this thing. Yeah. Maybe just like step outside really quick and just like save, save us really quick. It's yeah. Super easy. Okay. I'm totally down for that. Other than like just setting up the cameras, I think we're ready to go. So like I'm down to go out right now. Yeah, let's, let's go. Do it. It's really as simple as this. This is called sage and what I'm about to do is called smudging. I light this on fire. The smoke is going to go on you guys and apparently it's just like good energy and it protects you from like spirits and evil things so easy yeah. as that guys we're finally taking precautions for all this demonic stuff don't set my shirt on fire brother Cor, i'm gonna do you first Ooh, i do not mind that at all there we go we're being protected yes i'm getting smudged right here spirits probably don't like this right outside their freaking hotel huh but it's just like a protecting we can still talk to them but they just can't come inside that's what makes me so curious though bro it's like what if the spirits in there wish that they could have had this, you know, done to them before they were gone. And oh, that's, that's a good point. Here. See that smoke? Yeah. This is a beautiful mm. shot. We're gonna smell so bad coming in. You don't like the smell? It, it, it works. I don't think it's a good smell. I like right, it. Could you get me real quick? It smells kind of like burnt old people, but like in a good way. Uh, you kind of kind of got to waft it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Easy as that. Perfect. So I think now it's time to contact whatever is in our room. How about we like wipe off any bad energy too, like that psychic? Oh, oh yeah. Can, can you wipe it off me, man? Sure, brother. Get it out of there. I think we're clean now. We're coming in here just like. We're doing everything we possibly can. So this one's gonna go over here. There's no way. What? Look at me right now. Yeah. Did anyone move any of the lollipops? I need someone to tell me the truth. No. Did no. anyone move the lollipop? We all left at the Just same time. The lollipop that was standing up right there? Yeah. It's in front of the bathroom standing up. No way! Yes! No way! Yes. I got that on camera! No! I got that one on camera! Holy, look! Yo. It's right there! Wait, that is really weird. People are gonna like, think we moved it. Yeah, they will, but that's okay. We're, we still we know No way! You should tell me if we watch the footage back. That one's not gonna be there. It's gonna be right there. And it's, it no, I perfectly zoomed up on that we one. We pointed that out when it first happened, and now it's over there. Oh, dude, and the one standing up in the end, it's not standing up anymore. Remember, Corey pointed this one out. Okay, I just got chills. That is this oh, one. you're right, this one over here was standing up. Yeah. Did I just knock it over? Yeah. I just did. Okay. Holy. Oh my god. Nobody's gonna believe that. Yeah. There's nobody that's gonna believe that. That's okay. Yeah. Right yeah. there. It's okay. Yeah. I don't care if anyone doesn't believe it, because I mean. That was nuts, dude. That's fine. 
But that was it was standing crazy. up in front of the bathroom. It's like it's like whatever's in here heard me talking about that one specifically, and that's why I moved it over here. That's so weird. Especially in front of that. That's crazy. Bro. The children. We got to do this now. It's like present. It's yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. We leave to get saved. It's time. It's time. I just wanted to say, like, we did move some, like, lollipops to get them, like, in frame. Uh, but, yeah, let's start this thing. We got two angles this time. We got one net vision camera over on this side. We have main camera. Where? What was that? Wait, did you do I that? just plugged my thing in, but it, like, sparked. Oh, sparked. so short-circuited? I guess so. Here, wait, 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 wait. Before you light it, like, should we talk about what we're doing? You know, make sure that we're not doing anything that's going to, like... Pick up the wig. over. Like what? We're taking more precaution. We've saged, we're putting a salt circle. Like this will be better. I know, bro. But after like what the medium said, it's like that, bro. I don't know. Like the medium literally said that like something's gonna happen to us while we're here, did she not? Well, what has happened so far? What was that? What? Oh what? what? Wait, the blanket just moved. No, it didn't. Yes it did. It just no, went like this. It just went like that. Okay, bro, can we get out, bro? Like this is bro, we haven't even you haven't even lit all the candles. Yeah? Can we get out? Like, like dead just, ass. This is like the finale. No, bro, this is like Ouija board. You know what I'm saying? Can we go? But we, we like traveled all this like we way. We traveled halfway across the United States for this, dude. Not for this. To be here. You seriously don't want to do this right now? Like, not, no, not, no. Not with Dr. The Medium, no. Like, I do a lot of scary shit. And like the last time we did this, you guys know what happened. And mediums over here saying that something bad's gonna happen to us. We've already got a lot of evidence, so we could just call it a video and not do but like this. People, we need, like, that lollipop just moved. Like, this is the perfect time to do this. I don't know. You actually don't want to do this. I'll go in the other room if you guys, if I, yeah, like, I don't want to do it now. I just have, like, a, I don't know, I have, like, a really bad feeling. You know? I just don't feel good. The spirits kind of react to you the most too, so if you can at least like stay in the room. That's what I don't like. <laughs> can you be like outside this whole circle and just like not ask it? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Like, and if nothing happens, we can end it right now. How long are you guys gonna do it for? Let's just each ask a question. What question do you get? Also, I'm hoping that's because you just did that, but that water was rippling. Uh, what? Wait, what? The water was like... Oh! <gasps> I just did it again. You just touched it though. No, so as you it. said that, Sam, I did it again. Tap the floor, Sam, with your finger. No. Oh my god, Sam, I watched it do it. Is that moving? The key's not moving. Is it all the lollipops in the same spot? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was up? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just because we want to make this short, we've done a lot of asking questions. Let's just each ask one question. <sighs> What was that in the closet? I heard it. Dude, can we stop? What do you think that was? Well, I think whenever we hear things, that means that we should keep going. Yeah, we're literally saying like, let's do this, and say, I yes. Hate this crap, dude. Remember how calm you were in the Queen Mary? Like, just think of it like that. Like, it's not gonna hurt you. Right? Yeah, but we didn't have a medium tell us something bad. Not trying to do any harm. We're not trying to come out here and like. Someone in a bad spirit, we're not trying to like disgrace it in any way. Like, Jake, let's like be nice to like whatever we talk to. Let's take like a couple of those breaths, like the, the psychic said first. If anyone out there is listening, we just want to know if any noises that we heard were spirits or some kind of presence. Can I open it all the way? You can open it however much you want to open it. I just want this one to be able to see here. The back too. We can put a little bit, yeah. Yeah, this one. Uh, Let's see if that changes anything. Do you want to ask a question? You want me to ask a question? Yeah, but I mean, I just think we need like everybody's energy here. 
the only time it works is like if we all do it, dude. What if like just I'll ask a question, Kobe asks a question, you ask a question, we're done. Three questions. It could take five minutes. So one question each and then we're done. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm only saying okay because of the salt. The salt is the only thing that's making me feel kind of safe and the sage. I want something to happen. I mean, after all, that's our goal of the seance, right? Is for something yeah. to happen. I mean, we're, that's like the whole point of our YouTube channel. Yeah. Sam, you want to go for it this time? Spirit, our presence, we, we know you're here. Honestly, like we've been hearing all day. We've even heard that there is a man in here, a cowboy. Lucy being on this fourth floor moving lollipops. Like, you moved some stuff in our room. Like, you, we know you're here. Just please give us a sign. You moved the lollipops. We heard you earlier when we were relaxing. It's not time to play games anymore. Use our energy. Show us you're here. We came here for a reason. We're trying to help you. We want to talk to you. So if anything is here, please just show us. We want to see. Don't be scared. You just saw that candle? Yeah. Yeah. You just saw that? It looked like it went out for a second and then it like relit. It looked like someone blew it. something happens we just stop i agree there's there's nothing nothing happened it's just a creep we've been hearing it all night the window's open too and the fan's on yeah the, the, it could have been anything there's been six creeks in this especially that could have easily been you heard that a creek you heard yes that. we all heard, heard it only once something it crazy sounded like it was inside the closet okay, like this like you just you just begged you True. know for them to make a noise True. And then you stop right when they do it. And we only have one more question, right? Oh, my legs are asleep. Since we've literally heard that same noise over and over again, what if we do just close the doors? We just close the doors, and then we'll ask for something else. Close that uh, wardrobe, too. In the bathroom? Yeah, we'll close the bathroom. If we get a different sign, then we know it's actually something. But if we get, keep getting the same door, it might just be a creak in the door. You down to do one more, Corey? Just this last question? So I have to ask the question. We're just gonna all do one question. All right, so yeah, Corey, last question, and then you can literally be done. Whatever you feel, I, I honestly think just the spirit likes you best. That's literally what everybody says everywhere I go. I hate hearing that. Thanks, Sam. That makes me feel great. This is the last question we have for whatever we've been talking to tonight. If there is anything, a spirit, a ghost, an entity, is if there is anything in this room with us. Can you please make a sound or make something move to let us know that you are here with us? Anything, please. We just got something. Should I ask you a question? No. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's nothing in here. Corey. 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 Yo, close the door. Close the door. Guys, come on. Corey. What are you doing? Jake. I just want to go outside. What do you mean? We can't leave. Why? Why do we need to leave? Why? I don't want to sleep in there, bro. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go. Corey. Yeah. What the f*** is this shit? What the f*** was that? Yo. 
What the f was that? That sounded like it was in the closet. We should get another hotel. I do not want to sleep wait, in that room. It's just the closet. What? There's something wrong with that closet. Wait, so, I sleep in that wait, room. so why did we come here? Yeah. Why did we come to here? To get what we got. The moment we catch it, we stop. That's what I'm saying. It's like we got it. Like, this is like the perfect chance to go back right now. Like, Are remember? You joking? Let's think about it for two seconds. We were able to debunk a lot of stuff. What was that? What was it? Honestly, it could have been anything. That closet's been making weird noise all night. There's okay. construction, probably. There's okay. like people on the roof. But, you know, creaks and stuff like that. I understand. That doesn't really scare me. But that sounded like a cat was clawing down the door. Really? I thought it was like a machine. It was like. Not sure, dude. Maybe there's like machinery like behind that closet or something. Cause like. We Cause keep... it sounded like you know all those bangs. I know we didn't get the bang on camera, guys. Sorry, but it was it was very construction site. It was like, and then like the everything would move. It was like something's there. So like maybe it's just yeah. But we traveled here for a reason. It's almost morning. We can't leave if we wanted to. Our flight's tomorrow, so I think we should just tough it out, stay the night, see if anything else happens. We can end the seance. Yeah, I mean, we said it was our last question. We're fine with that. <sighs> just don't know what that was. I know what that f***ing was. What? The demon or a spirit or a ghost or something. Okay, I'm going back inside. I'm too cool, sorry. Off camera, like, what the f*** was that? No, that was, a, that was a spirit. That was a ghost or something. That was There's that nothing room. that can explain that. Every single time. Dude, as soon as I tempted it, something in the closet like moved, like the coat hanger or something. Second time, we said, come on, just show yourself. And we hear like, what, scratches in the closet too? In and, the closet. And, and uh, Jennifer nice said that like the, the ghost cowboy? like lives there. Or whatever. Well, no, I, I don't know, man. Was it living in the closet? I thought it was out in the... In the middle of the area. I'm so skeptical though because we've we tried like three times to debunk it and even all the security guards have said that like even being here they haven't seen anything so why would it happen to us the first time we get here you know it's just like too perfect. But something know. happens let's, every let's time. Let's talk about it though. Something happens every time. Biltmore, candles blew out, mission in what the backpack fell, something weird happens every time. Camera just died. Camera just died on three fourths battery. It doesn't do that. It's not supposed to freaking. As do soon that. as we're talking about the spirits too, like so, trying to debunk this, it kills the camera. We're just talking that about that. That happens every do. time. Do Queen Mary. We yeah. didn't capture anything until yes. the camera was off. Like oh. what if spirits dude, I, I don't want to like work. freak us out right now, but what if we're not going to haunted places, but haunted things are following us? Because every just doesn't want to get caught on camera. To, Something happens like this. We have to be quiet. Like earlier today, we caught some stuff too. Why? Right. What happened? The front desk guy just said that people were complaining on our floor. And get this he said that he heard people talking and random noises. Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Were they complaining to us directly or was he saying our floor? No, he was saying you people, like you are the people that are making random noises and talking. What if the random noise is like, what if they heard like what we heard? They heard what we heard. All right, I want to go back upstairs and get another battery, but like, we got to be quiet. Maybe we actually talk about this in the morning. Yeah. I don't know. Next time a noise is made, we can't run out the door because we're going to get kicked out. True. Okay. Yeah, we, we cannot get kicked out because <laughs> we literally don't have a place to stay until tomorrow night. We can't even get an Uber from here. We're in the middle of nowhere. Let's go back inside. I'll throw in a new battery. I'll talk about this in a second. Okay. Okay, so what I was trying to say outside before the battery died is what if it's not the places that we're going to, but it's us? Because every single place that we go to, something happens. But we also go to the worst places for hot stuff in the world. Huh? Right, and we put ourselves in this position, but... And that's what we're asking for. So, like, at the end of the day, kind of go figure that we're getting stuff, you know? Like, we're asking for it, we're going to haunted places, like, it's kind of doing what we want. But everything we get is debunkable, I feel like. Like, there hasn't been something, like, no chairs have levitated in front of us or, you know, anything like that. Like, everything that happens is like, okay, maybe, I don't know, you can debunk I mean, it. People think that, like, they go to a haunted place and, you know, they're gonna, you know, see a ghost walking down a hallway or they'll see, like, a spoon fly across the room. But in reality, all that you could get was one little knock. And that's enough proof for me. Because everything that I've already seen over the years, I know this is real. So you're saying so, you don't want to be dragged across the room by your foot? No, I'll pass on that. Okay, cool. Yeah. I know it'd be cool. 
if hmm. like next thing we ever do we like do like a overnight watch you get a ton of battery like a new camera that can last a long time and we just view our entire night and review yeah. that footage and see if like <sighs> i'm down because we don't we've never had enough battery or the camera power to like last all night but we could make that happen maybe like we'll actually capture something but i mean what it's like two hours till sunrise so I guess we'll turn on the camera if anything else happens, but for now, let's just sleep. Yeah, I think we're like so tired from filming all day that we're not gonna like have enough energy to explain what happened. So we kind of all agreed on our way back up, like we're gonna review this footage. And we got a noise complaint. Yeah, we can't be talking too much. Tomorrow morning, let's review the footage when we're all calm. And we'll go from there. We can meet like Jennifer for breakfast or something. Tell her what happened. Yeah, she's not gonna be gone. All right. Cool. Good night, everybody. I dreamt that I always could see you and um, Colby running, but I could never catch up. What? Like it was like you guys keep going, and I was like, guys, come on. It's not like it was like a bad thing or anything happening to me, but I was just like. I couldn't find you. I don't really remember my dreams. I just remember I woke up like three times last night, and I every time I woke up, it was like, <gasps> and I'm like, well, what the f just happened? And I'll, like, I'll be trying to think of what my dream was. All I just remember is just tiny little things. In every dream, there was like someone like chasing all of us. And like, it was obviously we were at this hotel. Like, we're so, sleeping here, so I was dreaming so, about it. Probably you know? made you think of like that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Did either of you guys remember your dreams or not really? I was driving in a little Hot Wheels car. That's pretty innocent. That's good. <laughs> I was just stuck in a hallway for like what felt like five hours. Like, you know those dreams that just like never seem to end? Mm -hmm. And like, you can, it's not like a lucid dream, but you can like kind of tell that you're in a dream and it's just like super long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like imagine like a, a hallway with no doors where you just like walk and you just can't escape. You just keep going. And it like got like to the point where I was like driving myself insane and I would start like running for half a mile it felt like and then I'd stop because it'd get frustrating and I'd never be able to see the end. Did you hear anything last night? Did anybody like hear noises? I heard the vent make a couple weird noises. Dude, that vent right there like went like yeah, four times. Yeah. Like as soon as I was like waking what? up. I did lay out some stuff for the possible Mrs. Wilson ghost, but that didn't really happen unless you're all packed up or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Now that we're able to talk about it, let's freaking check this camera back out and see what happened right as we were like doing the sound. I still have no idea of like how to explain that. Did you hear anything? Yeah. It sounded oh. like scratch marks. It sounded like a. There's Cory. Cory just out. dipped, bro. I was out, bro. Have we ever even heard scratches though in any other video? That's the thing. I don't think so, I don't man. Think so. This place is super old. It's obvious that it makes creaks. There's no explanation for scratches. Honestly, dude, I think it was the construction because remember even in Queen Mary when we heard like the footsteps dunk, 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 like above us. Wait, what? What is that? Could have been some mechanical. Yeah, we none of us like really freaked out that much. Like I've heard stuff like that happen in each place we've been to that it's it doesn't really scare me anymore that much. Whenever we heard those other noises, like the coat hangers would be moving back and forth when we open the door. Yeah, so whatever so, it is, it's like really close to this room. Yeah, But maybe definitely. not like in this room. And we also like right don't there. know what's behind that wall. Because that could honestly be just another room. Exactly. So we gotta go in 30 minutes. Yeah, maybe. but I told uh, Jennifer we'd meet her for breakfast really quick if you guys wanna go down there. Maybe okay. she knows something that happened. Maybe she experienced something. Okay, real quick before we leave this hotel. Let's recap everything that actually happened though because there's so many things that we haven't debunked. Dude, I can name 20 things. Exactly. Yeah, the hangers, time. the pictures that we caught in that little music hall room. The pictures, oh yeah. Weird. 
The pictures were okay. a huge thing. Right when we came in, we were playing with that, the radio thing. The lollipop moving, Lucy in the concert hall, Jennifer crying because she like saw like a bright light. All the things you yeah. captured like on Spearbox pictures. Spearbox said, hey. The multiple <laughs> booms, and then the AC going like cracking in the morning, and then all of us having dreams. Like whether or not we can debunk that one thing, all I'm trying to prove with this is we have a lot that we would have had to debunk. We saw red rum carved somewhere. Oh, and yeah. a lollipop, like in a, the most random place you can ever find. Yeah. So like, something about this hotel is definitely weird. weird. We survived it, and we didn't wear it. Dude, you have green on right now again. You said you didn't have any green. Oh. Dude, you could have given me that sweatshirt. <laughs> nice, Sam. I'm sorry. What the hell, dude? All right, well, uh, <clears throat> on that note, let's go get breakfast, please. Did anything happen to you last night? No, not after I left. Interesting. Did you, like, stay at 217, though? Like right next door. Okay. So no like nightmares or anything like that? Not that I remember. I don't remember anything. We had nightmares. Yeah. We always have a Not me. We set up this like elaborate seance thing. Like, I don't know if you've ever like done that or seen that. But it was pretty bad. Did anything happen? There was something in the closet for sure. That's all we know. The lollipops in the room and there were some that were sticking like straight up standing. We left and came back, and one of the lollipops was moved to a completely different spot of the room, but it was still standing. Mm -hmm. It was the same color and everything. Like, we think yeah. it's that, like, Lucy ghost, like, moving the lollipops. And we try to, like, stand up a lollipop, it just doesn't work. And it'll fall. So. And it was when we went and staged ourselves, right? Yeah. We staged ourselves, come back, and the lollipop was moved. It's yeah. just completely in another place. It's really freaky. Jennifer just says she's about to head out, and we probably are too, so this is gonna be the last little bit of our Stanley Goodbye. adventure. Goodbye, Stanley. Again, huge thank you for helping us out. Yeah, no, honestly, like, if she didn't give us a tour, we wouldn't have known, like, half those facts. So, yeah. yeah, we got denied a tour, so. We'd have we... to be researching all night. True. Seriously. That would have sucked. Seriously. I think this was a pretty successful trip. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Again, yeah. Can we Thank get a group photo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Say Stanley. Stanley! Stanley. <laughs> yeah, again, thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. On our way. Nice you. Thank you for all the ghost stories and making me almost poop my pants well, it means yeah, a lot yeah it means a lot. that was a pretty scary night I'm ready to go home <laughs> definitely i'm still freaked out we all had nightmares yeah 100 like percent. i didn't if you want to poop your pants again i know where you can go <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> where 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 can we go uh it's in la it's called witch's forest my grandpa owns a cabin there and like no one ever goes there bye guys <laughs> oh god you made, you made coy leaves so witch's forest yeah. In LA. What? So you, oh, you have a ca cabin in the woods. Yeah, my grandpa. But no one ever goes there. Like, like one month of the year, someone's there, and that's it. It's haunted, you said. Yeah. Oh God. The cabin or the forest? Ah, uh, the forest. Okay, good. Dude, this is freaking perfect. Corey is actually gone. He's walking back to the airport. Um, oh, and the airport. <laughs> we just had a horrible, crazy time. So maybe we'll hit you up okay. about it. Okay, but yeah, thank know. you. Of course. Definitely. Again, nice meeting you. Nice meeting Bye. Uh, Bye. Be in contact. See ya. Corey, get your bag. Okay guys, so we're uh, just waiting for our taxi really quick, but we wanted to talk to you, just kind of like a one-on-one -on -one to kind of explain what we're gonna be doing in the future. We really enjoy this paranormal stuff. We really enjoy like going to these haunted places because it's cool. It's something that no one else does. A lot of you guys are concerned about our safety, whether it be paranormal or just like what happened to us at the cave. But we just wanted to say that we are completely voluntarily doing this ourselves and don't worry about it. We like doing this and we don't want to stop doing paranormal investigations, so we're going to keep doing it. So this is our compromise. As opposed to just anything we can find, we're just going to take a lot more time on these videos and again, they're going to be more like this. It's going to be more research and more like storyline and it's going to be spaced out more, but that's more for like our safety and we'll still do all of our videos on our personal channels and stuff, but as for the Sam and Colby channel, 
this is what's best for us, mm -hmm. especially after taking that break. Again, expect um, more videos probably in a few weeks or so, and all of our other socials will be right here on the screen. And again, we post on our personal channels as well every single week. We got merch as well to help support these trips and all that stuff, so yes. link in bio. If you want to support us at all, best way you can do that is just grabbing a hoodie, link right here. Go do it, thanks guys. Okay, let's go grab Corey and Jake. Okay, so, 250K likes. We're going to that uh, Witch's Forest, right Corey? No. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm let's down. do it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see it. you guys there. Adios. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Hi, uh, is this Jennifer? Yes, this is she. Sweet. Uh, so, about that forest. 